Around three in the afternoon, I hired a kayak and went for a two-hour paddle up to the third gorge. The gorge has been carved out of the otherwise flat landscape by the Lawn Hill Creek, which flows all year round and is fed by numerous freshwater springs from the limestone plateau to the west. On the banks of the creek, many species of tropical vegetation grows, including cabbage tree palms. We're in the middle gorge now. This is another way of seeing this particular area. Just a matter of hiring a canoe from the ranger's office spending some time on the water. In 1987, there was a strict allocation of 150 tourists allowed in the park at any one time. I was lucky. They allowed me to stay because usually you have to book ahead. Negotiate our way through the pandanus plants. This is about as far as we go on this particular gorge. It's a matter of heading back now. The return trip is going to show up more of the, the escarpment along the gorges here. down this ramp here.
Thorn Hill National Park was the perfect location to spend my last few days in the golf country. Tomorrow I'll be heading back south. To date I've done about 11,000 kilometres in about 14, nine days, nearly 50 days, about 11,000 kilometres. The trip's been very good. It's been a wide range of different things that I've seen and done. A lot of things have been good. Just a couple of things have been pretty slow. Most of the roads have been country roads. What type of thing do you expect? Trip down south, should be just as interesting. Got about just on a month to get back. Well, not, not even that. No, I've got nowhere near that. 10 days, I think. You lose all track of time out here. Forget what day it is. Definitely forget what what the time is. I haven't had a watch on my wrist for ages now. When it gets dark, it's time to go to bed. When it gets light, it's time to get up. It's about the only time I've been worrying about. Money's pretty low at this stage. Still got quite a few kilometres to do. Most of it's going to be on reasonably rough roads. I've got to get out of here first before I even head down south. A two and a half hours trip out of this place. So this is definitely an oasis and it's a real good place to come to. We've got a kind of a limit on the amount of people that can be here at any particular time. 150 people. There's room for more, but because of the environment, that's how many people they've allowed in on each particular day. People have been turned away because they haven't booked. I was lucky. We've done an awful lot around this place, making it in preparation for the tourists. And it's a good place. Well worth coming. Well worth the trip coming up here. Even the last 10 kilometers, it was worth that too.